What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Over the last, I don't know, five days or so, you've seen me review both the X04 and the X07 Xbox One compatible gaming headsets. Both of them are made by Turtle Beach. They're very similar in a lot of ways, but they're very different in a few key ways too. And a lot of people are wondering, which one should I buy? The X04 costs $99.99, and the X07 costs $160, $159.99. And the question I'd be getting, is it worth it? Is it worth the extra $60 for the $159.99 X07? And that's what I hope to answer in this video. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is how these are similar. Both are compatible with the Xbox One. They both include the Xbox One headset adapter uh, right in the box, so right out of the box, you're ready to go you're ready to chat and get game sound out of these headsets which is a major improvement from what we had in the past with the xbox one they're both compatible with your mobile devices either android or iphone you can make phone calls you can uh, hear music through them you can pretty much do most of the stuff you can do with any gaming or any headset for a, a mobile phone both can be used with the PS4 by plugging them into your DualShock 4, and they both have 50 millimeter speakers in the ear cups. So uh, they don't sound the same, but they do both have the same size speakers in these ear cups. Finally, they are both each color coded to kind of match the Xbox One color scheme. So how do they differ? What are the differences between these two headsets and what really sets them apart from each other? So let's start with the comfort. The X04 has cloth covers, which in most cases I actually prefer, but they are covering very firm ear pads. Very, very firm. And while the X07 has leather rat covers, it's much softer foam. You can actually see that it's a memory foam. It comp uncompresses very, very slowly, and it actually kind of conforms to your head a lot better than those of the X04. Now combine that with the extra clamping pressure the X04 has. It's a much firmer clamp, right? There's a, there's a lot more pressure on your head. These are much lighter clamping force, uh, and they do kind of hang on your head a little bit more. The X04s have a lot less padding up here, but that doesn't really come into play on the X04s because the primary force that's keeping these on your heads is the fact that it's clamped to your head. It's very, it's stuck to your ears. This one feels more rounded, right? Is it feels like there's a little bit of clamping force around your ears, but it's also getting supported by your head a little bit by that headband. And luckily there's a lot more padding on that headband. So overall, I gotta give the comfort factor to the X07 and to a significant degree. When you're using a gaming headset for hours on end, I think that comfort is a pretty big issue. And the X07 for me is much more comfortable. Next, let's talk about sound quality. I have been lucky enough to be playing a lot of Titanfall on the Xbox One lately, and both of these headsets perform very well. Explosions were deep and bassy, voice was clear and understandable, gunshots were cracking appropriately. There was very little detectable difference in the sound quality while gaming. However, while listening to music, the X07 had a leg up over the X04. The X07 had clear highs and deep bass and sounded accurate and rich. The X04s were more hollow sounding and uh, they just didn't offer the richness that I got out of the X07s. They actually sounded a bit harsh to me when listening to uh, stuff that had a wide range of tonal qualities. S stuff with like a good bass guitar, but also like a high vocalist. It was a little bit grating on these, while the X07s handed, handled it fine. So for music, I found that the X07s were much better, but why didn't I find that for gaming? Why, why the disparity there? There's a pretty big discrepancy between music and games when comparing audio on this, on this comparison. And I, I have a few ideas why that might be, but it's kind of hard to nail down. First of all, both headsets get their signal from the Xbox One controller. And the Xbox One gets its signal wirelessly from the Xbox One itself. There probably is a bit of digital compression happening in that wireless signal that makes it hard to detect the differences between the headset. It could also be that since the controller is powering the headset itself, it lacks the oomph to make the Xbox One really shine, narrowing the difference between the two headsets uh, even further. Also, 
when comparing these headsets, I, I gained for fairly extended play period. So it was hard to do really good A-B testing between the two headsets because you don't necessarily get the exact same sounds at the exact same times like you do for music. For music, what you do is you, you can just start up a track and listen to it all the way through and then listen to it again with the other headset and then listen to it again with the original headset and on and on and on and you really get a good feeling for the differences between the two headsets. So for me, on the Xbox One, gaming wise, I didn't really see much of a difference. Music wise, the edge really went to the X07 and it was a fairly significant edge. The microphone, uh, the microphone quality was comparable on both headsets. However, the windscreen on the X07 will probably keep your friends from complaining that you are breathing into the mic as often. Uh, and also the adjustability of it kind of keeps it uh, as close or as far from your mouth as you need it to be. The X04's mic is adjustable, but it's a lot firmer and it tends to snap back over time to its kind of default position. Finally, I wanna compare the build quality and design of these headsets. The X07 looks and feels like a higher quality headset. You can see it's got kind of this chrome ring around it. It just looks like a more expensive headset. I don't really love the design aesthetic of the X07, but you can't deny that it looks like a more expensive and better built headset. The X04 is lighter. Uh, it feels like it's made out of more plasticky materials uh, and it doesn't look as premium. I will tell you though that I actually prefer the look of this headset over the look of the X07. I don't think that really means much though. The uh, X07 also has braided cables and comes with two cables that you can attach to this little dongle here. One is specifically meant for gaming, plugs into your Xbox One uh, headset adapter or your Sony PS4. Uh, and it's pretty much just a straight through cable. It's braided. Uh, I did find that with these braided cables, there was a little bit of noise. When these cables rubbed against clothing, you could hear that in the headset itself. Oh, get that out of here. Also, the X07 comes with another cable that actually has a phone button on it. So you can answer or hang up calls uh, if you're using the X07 to make phone calls, which is a nice feature. The X04 only has one cable, it's not braided, it's just covered with uh, kind of a rubber coating. Uh, and it is far too short for me. Like I can't even use this on my computer because I have to sit too close to my computer. So it's not a big deal, you could buy an extension for this, but it would have been nice to get another foot or so out of this cable. It would have just made the uh, headset that much more convenient to use. So in conclusion, which headset is a better value? And I'm gonna go with the obvious answer here, the X07. Even though the X07 is $60 more expensive than the X04, I feel like it is a $60 purchase that's well spent, right? Uh, the $60 would be about the price of a new game, which will last you maybe, let's say, a month to a year but you're gonna have your headset for hopefully two or three years. And having that everyday comfort over the X04, to me alone makes the X07 worth it. Also getting a longer cable to make it a little more convenient, as well as better sound for music, I really think the X07 is worth it. I don't think that you'd make a mistake by going with the X04, however. I think that they're very comparable headsets. Uh, if you're only using it for gaming, there's less of a difference. And if you find that the X04 is comfortable, then there's really no difference. But for me, I would spend the extra $60 on the X07. So that's what I think. Hopefully that was enough information so you guys can make an informed purchasing decision yourself. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.